Coach Paul Cantabena, who joins us after a tough one tonight. Coach, um, your assessment, beyond obviously the fact that, that you lost the game, give me your assessment of, of what you saw that you liked and what you didn't like and what needs to happen for your team moving forward. Well, I think we actually played pretty well. You know, I just think that uh, we're having trouble scoring goals. Our goalie had 12 really, really nice saves, I think, today. We had a lot of good inside chances, and that was kind of the difference. Sam played really well for us, and but we got to figure out how to score some goals. You know, and that's the, and that's the thing. Right now, we're for whatever reason, uh, we just can't throw it in the ocean, it seems like. But we'll get there. We'll play hard, and we played, you know, the number six team in the country, whatever they are, and and uh, you know they hit, they hit some shots. You know, I think they hit some really really good shots, and but I thought we played really good defensively in the six on six. When you know we were right there again, but we got to figure out how to play 60 minutes, not 30, not 45, and you know we played some younger guys and and to give some people some chances, and we'll get there in the end. I think you know we, it's a work in progress. We got we're young and we got some guys facing off the first that are young, and and uh, but we need our older guys to step up and be a leader. So our record's one and five, and this kind of says what you are, but I think we're a little better team than that is but you know according to who we played for sure so well having said all that it doesn't get any easier because on Tuesday you face tough so that's a pretty quick turnaround well, how do you get your team ready for that I don't know we've been doing it for a few years so I think we'll be all right you know we'll we'll, we'll meet tomorrow I'll get breakfast around spring break and uh you know we'll do a little walk through for them and then uh you know get some dinner and you know it's good to get on spring break get a little close to each other be able to work things out and and then we'll get ready for Tufts on Tuesday I think we'll you know, be a good go Tufts is a good team and, and they do some good things and you know we if we can do some things, we can give ourselves a chance, you know, and that's what we have to do. So we've been giving ourselves a chance. We're just not cashing in on other teams' mistakes, and they're doing a good job of cashing in on ours. So I think we're, I think we're doing some good things, but, you know, we got to stop shooting ourselves in the foot so much. Coach, uh, you referenced the young players got the opportunities, a couple assists for Connor Nelson and yep. some of the other guys that got in the mix tonight. Shane Ford obviously taking advantage of his opportunity. Yep. Uh, can we assume that we'll be seeing more of those guys moving forward? Yeah, you know, I mean, Connor's a nice freshman for us, and he got a couple assists. He's good at moving the ball and has good eyes. And so we thought, you know, taking Will out a little bit because we need a ball mover there since those attack when are all primarily kind of Dodgers and that. And, you know, Shane's a, a freshman, and, you know, you saw Brandon, who's a freshman in there, and uh, he did good. Obviously, Cam's a freshman, Seth's a freshman. Uh, so, you know, and, and, and uh, Tatum and Will, you know, and they're in there, they're sophomores. So we're a fairly young offensive team learning to go against some really good defenses, and they're learning their way through what they need to do. So we just got to keep getting better. No doubt about that. Coach, um, we were just talking before you came up here about the event in general, and this was your brainchild some time ago, expanded to 10 teams this year, an unbelievable effort from so many people. I know it's tough to go over to this weekend, but the praise that this event continues to receive, the attention across the country, can you just put into words what it means to you to see this event grow like this? Well, it's, you know, it's not me, you know, really. It's a whole university and, uh, you know, security and the cleaning people and Mike Allenhorst and everybody who does such a great job and the athletic staff to be here all year people and and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and Greg Royce's people are all here doing this it's a lot of time you know you know it's uh, 12 hours of games five games a day but uh, it's a good it's a great thing for division three lacrosse and we really have a great product and I think you saw some of the great players we have here and the coaches love it you know you show up there's a game going on that's really cool then you play a game there's another game going on and the games are all really tight it's not like you get an hour to warm up it's like let's, let's play you know 20 minutes to warm up get out there roll it let's go and I think that's what the coaches really like there's not a lot of BS and involved do it you just show up you play the game you don't got a lot of time to repair you do your stuff you got to execute better than the other guys and everybody's there watching it was great you know the crowds are great and I think that's what people like they want to do that I think sometimes the cross is you know through the coaches or whatever the reason is it's this you know this big thing where oh we got to do things slow and get any time we've got to sleep a certain amount of hours it's lax dudes let's play <laughs> you know what I mean and I think we got to get out there and do that and this is this is a great event to showcase the great people uh, the product that we have in Division Three lacrosse and I can't thank all the teams enough for what they do and the sacrifices they make to be here those guys those coaches are all really great and you know you saw some great players and some great people out here today and that's and that's what it's all about and uh, I guess can't thank everybody enough for the helping out and you know it was my brainchild to come up to do it but I think all the coaches made it a great event because they tell everybody how great it is to be here and, and, and I think every there's lots of people that want to be in here uh, you know some of the teams won't be able to come back next year unfortunately some of the NESCACs their calendar changed so they'll be back in two years and we'll get some new teams in there next year might you know, we'll see maybe it'll be four games not ten games <laughs> four games a day not five games but Why not six? yeah yeah <laughs> I don't know I think security is pouting already when somebody joked to them earlier about that but hey it's a great event and we're just really excited and I thank everybody for coming out and watching and you know we're really happy it went off well and um, you know it's a great thing for D3 lacrosse all around and, and you know and it's a great thing for uh, and as coach Webster said I'll give him a lot of credit he thinks it's better than the NCAA tournament just being here with all these teams here he thinks it's a, it's a better kind of event because of the excitement and everything 
everybody here and know how everything goes. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Breakfast at Mustang Stadium next year. Coach, congr <laughs> congratulations <laughs> on a great event. <laughs> uh, I know it's tough, but appreciate you doing it. We'll see you on Tuesday night. Thanks a lot.